All right, so I, I found a, a guy kind of local to me, um, a little bit south, an hour south of here. This kind of specializes in working on uh, on uh, olds, like a whole shop full of uh, like really desirable uh, old cutlasses, like 70s, you know, 68, 69, 70s. So it was pretty cool meeting this guy, but... Um, they had pulled this motor out of the, it was a 70, uh, 442, um, and the guy has something to do with the back of the crank, how the automatic and the, and the manual cranks are different, and they tried to put a four speed in it or something, and they ended up just building a different a different engine that had the correct crank in it because this you know this was this is stock so he wanted one built up anyway so this is a 350 um it's a 7350 which uh it's got number six heads on it so it should be according to everything i've looked up it should be like the, the one of the more powerful olds 350s that were ever that were ever produced um, it's like 10 and a quarter to one compression motor. Um, it's supposed to be, uh, it's probably gross rating, but it was rated at 310 horse, I think. And then like 390 foot pounds. So it was a pretty healthy, you know, a good runner for a 350. You know, th this is a, this 455 that's, that's, uh, damaged. Uh, this is the one that was in the boat. So this is, I don't know if you can see it here, but probably can't see it very well. But that's the number six rod bearing. It spun the, it spun number six. Um, so when I was talking about in the, the previous video, that's the, uh, knock that I heard so but it didn't do a lot of damage to the crank um, you know I came right out of it real quick which was a good thing basically putted you know idled all the way back to the ramp from there so it only knocked for a short time so it but it worked on the crank enough where it's like I don't want to just throw new bearings in it and see if I can get a little bit more time out of it like that's a uh, that's a desirable year 455 like it's a good it's the good heavier uh casting blocks the higher nickel content i think it's the f block it's got ga heads on it i mean it's got good heads on it, it just needs the bigger valves put in like it's a it's a desirable motor to build so i don't want to trash it i i already cobbled it you know threw it together to begin with when i got it the, both of the front cylinders had water sitting in them, so the, the and we just ran a ball hone through it and put new rings in it. And actually, like amazingly, the you know the two and a half or three seasons I got out of this motor, it didn't burn any oil, even with those two pretty badly damaged cylinders. So I figure just throw this motor in here in in the boat for now. The boat's made for a small block anyway. The exhaust fits better. It like, you know, fits like it's supposed to. When you put the big block in there, the heads are, you know, they're the same externally, but they're farther apart because the big block is a tall deck, so everything kind of squeezes together, but it's kind of unnerving, you know. You don't want to blow uh, something off, you know, in your exhaust when you're underway. You're going to put a lot of water in the boat really quick. So, um... But yeah, I figure we'll we'll take this thing and and over the winter time I'll take this thing apart and and we'll do you know a proper uh, recon job on this thing. Get the crank turned, send the block in. Probably having to go thirty forty over on the block to get those front two cylinders to clean up. You know, find it find it, well, if I, it's got a decent cam in it, but definitely get the get the bigger valves put in the heads and. You could, we could have a really good, like, long-term runner here, and and this little small block will just kind of, you know, <laughs> make 
make it so the boat is still operable while I'm building its its you know the engine that I want to be on. Or we'll just keep we'll we'll just keep like I was saying we'll just keep alternating. You know, fix this one. You know, this one blows up. Put the 455 in it. You know, and then. 455 blows up again. Make sure your 350 is ready to go. Maybe do a little bit more to that motor while you got it, you know, torn down in the wintertime. Put a little bigger cam in and do some head work to it. Um, so, yeah, that's the, uh, the direction I'm going here. Hopefully that'll... I mean, the amount of money it cost me just to turn the crank on this. Like, I got this, this nice 350 that's ready to run. It was just pulled out of the car. So, yeah, um, it'll be the quickest turnaround, I think, and then I can get the damn the blue boat running again, and then we can get back to the uh, the, the cool boat, not this this lame seventies boat. <laughs> so yeah, and yeah, the uh, moving like the, the moving all these damn motors around. Taking this motor off of that stand, taking this thing out of the back of the truck, because um, I had it sitting on a pallet, it, switching everything around, doing this whole like putting that one on a little storage stand so I can get all the rest of the parts off it. Like that that stupid tractor, man. Like I put a set of of pallet forks on the front of it, and I cannot emphasize how handy that is. Like I don't have to. You know, being like kind of partially handicapped, I don't have to like invite people over. Like, yeah, you got, well, you want to come over to my house and move a bunch of freaking heavy motors around and you know throw your back out. So it's it's oh my god, it's nice to have a piece of equipment here to uh, to make it so I can just do this do this shit myself. And I ain't got to be calling in favors all the time. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, yeah, next video I'm gonna thrash on this thing. Just just oven clean it so it's clean spray it black probably it's not an aluminum intake it's, the guy just painted it to look like one it's still an iron intake so i'll just switch everything over to this and and it, this should be like no time like before the end of the week i should be able to have this boat uh up and running again and we can get back to that thing so yeah uh, maybe i'll shoot another video when i get this thing running um I got a spot in the hall I got to fix too, right in front of the intake. That's leaks, takes on a little bit of water from the the damage from a long time ago when I hit that log and in, in the river. Um, so now that there's no motor in it right now. I need to get that spot fixed too. So yeah, hopefully, like I said, it, towards the end of the week I should have this damn thing up and running again. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you, bye.